When the Flashpoint comic begins, we find Barry Allen in his office, just like every other day, but things aren't going quite as he usually expects it. Outside is a battle between Citizen Cold and Pied Piper. Barry Allen wakes up, intending to go and save the day, runs out of his office, discovers that his ring is missing. And as he's running about to access the Speed Force to go save the day, he trips and falls down the stairs, completely without his speed. As he's recovering from the fall, nobody other than his mom shows up to ask him if he's all right. Barry Allen is blown away. This is his mom. This is Nora Allen. Nora Allen, who is dead, is right there, right next to him. And he says, Mom, I I, I don't understand. And she said, you promised to take me to my to dinner on my birthday and he's blown away he says are you really here and he can't help it he just completely falls to pieces and begins to hug her but as he and her start talking things seem a little bit more off and he discovers from her that his dad is actually dead and his dad passed away from a heart attack three years ago And he finally decides to reveal to her, since things aren't working out, he tells her, I'm the Flash, but something's going wrong. And she says, the Flash, what are you talking about? He goes, you know, the Flash, the guy who saved the world from the Justice League. And she just keeps looking at him. She's like, what's the Justice League? And he said, Superman? And she says, no, never heard of him. And he's like, what about Batman? And she's like, Batman? Now him, I've heard of. And our next major panel is discovering that Batman is not who we expected. There's a little bit of an interaction between Batman and Cyborg, where we discover that Batman is not the Batman we're used to seeing. He uses guns. He is not a good character. He was willing to destroy and actually kill the villain that he was fighting. Cyborg attempts to recruit Batman to help him save the world because, as it turns out, this world that Barry Allen is in right now is so far from the world that we expected, the world that Barry Allen knows, that we are actually on the verge of Armageddon. Off Man and Wonder Woman are at each other's throats. They have started what is essentially turning into World War III, the Amazons versus the Atlanteans. Turns out that Wonder Woman killed Mira, Aquaman's wife, and as a result, he essentially flooded the entirety of the West Western Europe attempting to destroy her. Of course, he doesn't end up destroying wonder woman or the amazons instead he just succeeded in killing millions and millions of europeans as a result wonder woman and the amazons actually blitzkrieg the uk and take over so cyborg is trying to convince batman he's like excuse me mr batman just need to tell you that the entire world is about to fall apart we need your help to save the day because the amazons and the atlanteans are at each other's throats and there have been millions and millions and millions of casualties for their conflict batman's not interested this is the batman that we know would 100 percent be willing to help this batman he's not interested in helping to save anybody he is all on his own he basically said if the world is screwed then just let it fall to pieces i don't care it deserves it flash forward just a little bit more barry allen is desperate to figure out what's going on this world that he's seeing this world even though his mom is here something is clearly going wrong so he is going to go and find the person who has always been there for him and to help him out the one person who he thinks can really help solve the mystery and that is bruce wayne that's batman Goes to to Wayne Manor and things are not as he is expect. Alfred is nowhere in sight. The manor is in disarray. Things are falling apart, collapsing. There are beer bottles everywhere. The Bat Cave is this very dark, grungy place that's not at all like what he's used to seeing. And he finds a picture of Martha and Thomas Wayne, Bruce's parents, and Bruce Wayne. And right next to it is this is is, is a preserved gun, and he's just kind of blown away and all of a sudden out of nowhere batman begins to attack barry allen barry looks at him and he says you remember me it's barry bruce it's me it's me it's barry allen 
And Batman just keeps looking at him. Bruce? Bruce, Bruce is dead. I watched him die. And it hits Barry Allen. This Batman is not Bruce Wayne. This is Thomas Wayne. They begin to talk. And it turns out that that night, Bruce died. As opposed to Thomas and Martha. Now, Thomas Wayne, right now, he is not having any of what Barry Allen is offering. He begins to beat him up. He's threatening to break his fingers, threatening to break his arms. He's basically in an absolute fury because Barry mentioned his son. And Barry eventually begins to convince him that not only did I know your son, but your son survived. He tries to explain to Thomas Wayne that I am from a a different universe. I'm from a a different time. But as he's starting to talk with Thomas Wayne, he begins to have these memories of what's going on. He sees the destruction of Western Europe from Aquaman. He sees the Blitzkrieg of the UK from Wonder Woman. And he starts to realize that this isn't an alternate universe that he's traveled into. It is his universe. And he's slowly recovering memories from this universe that has been completely altered. And he's actually losing the memories of what we'll call, I suppose, his home universe. So in a desperation to make Batman understand, he finds his ring, which has been hidden in his jacket. He powers up the ring and shooting out of the ring is a costume, but it's not his costume. It is the costume of Eobard Thawne, Professor Zoom. It is the yellow with the red lightning bolt and the black insignia. And he realizes what's going on. This is reverse flash. All of what is going on has been a direct result of reverse flash. And so he slowly begins to get Thomas Wayne on board because he says, look, if you help me, figure out what happened, figure out how to stop reverse flash, figure out how to get him to fix everything. I can save your son. And that is the only thing that Thomas Wayne is interested in. He says, can you really change this world? Barry says, yes, I have to, but first things first, Dr. Wayne, I need my speed. So a couple things are happening while this is going on. Basically all the people who we've ever perceived as villains in the world, like Slade, And good guys in this world, heroes in the world, they're all trying to figure out how to take down Aqua Woman, excuse me, Aquaman and Wonder Woman because this war is destroying everybody. But for the sake of this discussion, we're going to stick with the Barry Allen storyline. If you guys are interested in more about the backstory, I would really recommend picking up the comic or you can go on the DC Wiki to learn more. So Barry Allen needs his speed. And he tells Thomas Wayne, he says, okay, this is how we're going to get my speed. We are going to create the exact same instances of how I got my speed the first time. The same chemicals, which incidentally Thomas Wayne has in, its, has in his lab. And we're going to need a little bit of lightning. But this is Gotham City. Lightning and bad weather is prevalent everywhere. So they get on top of Wayne Manor. Thomas Wayne straps Barry into this very intricate, very scary looking device. He's got the chemicals around him. It's in the middle of a lightning storm. They wait for the right moment and lightning strikes Barry. All of the chemicals break as they're supposed to, but things go terribly, terribly wrong. Barry Allen actually catches on fire and is engulfed in this inferno. Thomas Wayne, realizing something's going wrong, smothers the flames But underneath that, Barry Allen has now been essentially burnt to a crisp. He is covered in third degree burns over 75% of his body. It did not work. This plan that he had to get back his speed failed. And he is, as he's recovering from this major, major catastrophe to his body, he's losing more and more of his memories from his home universe. And he's starting to remember things from this universe and they're beautiful things. He's remembering seeing his mom cook him pancakes. He is actually seeing things that aren't making sense. Like he sees Albin Sir trying to, Albin Sir, one of the original Green Lantern who passed his ring on to Hal Jordan. He sees that that alien is still alive. So things have gone a little bit funky in the Green Lantern storyline. He's waking up And he's telling Thomas Wayne, he says, if I don't fix this, 
if I don't figure out what's going on, I won't remember everything. I won't, I'm going to forget what happened. I'm going to forget my wife. And this is something I skipped. And I'm kind of sad that I skipped this. Um, before Barry went to see Bruce, his first step was to go visit Iris. And when he arrived at her, at her office, Iris not only didn't recognize him, she has a husband who is 100% not Barry Allen, and this breaks his heart. And that's what causes him to go to Bruce Wayne in the first place. So I apologize for skipping that. I tried to go right in order of everything. So Barry is waking up. He's covered in burns. He doesn't have his speed. He is on death's door. Bruce, excuse me, Thomas Wayne tries to tell him, look, you, you can't keep doing this. And of course, this is Barry Allen. Barry Allen does not give up. He says, take me back on the roof. We're going to try this again. So Thomas Wayne straps him back in, gets the chemicals on board. He tells him, you really are crazy. And Barry Allen's response is like a fox. Now strap me in. And the second that he says that, another lightning bolt strikes him. But this one is so much more powerful than the last one. And it actually manages, the shockwave from the lightning bolt manages to shoot Thomas Wayne off of the roof. He's completely unprepared. He's falling to his death. And lo and behold, who should save him but Barry Allen, who managed to get his speed back. So that second lightning strike manages to compl- to bring back his speed. He has the speed force back, but he's not as fast as he remembered being. He doesn't have the ability to go back in time right now. So they're back in the bat cave. Thomas Wayne is looking over him and he's kind of poking and prodding him as a, as a scientist and a doctor. He's fascinated by how fast Barry is healing. And Barry Allen takes the suit that he has, that reverse flash suit, does a little bit of magic, a little bit of speed force magic, and puts back on his good old red flash suit. And they realize that they need to try to correct everything that's gone wrong. So the first step for Barry to do is get caught up on history. And he gets caught up on everything that's been going on with Aquaman and Wonder Woman. He discovers that Hal Jordan never became the Green Lantern. Instead, he is a an expert pilot who is actually we'll see coming up here going to be taking this crazy mission to try to stop the Amazonians and the, the Atlanteans from essentially destroying the world. And Barry's first step is to try to get the justice league back together. And he knows that reverse flash knows that that would be his first step. So he's noticing that reverse flash has taken many of these key justice league characters out of the, picture like Bruce Wayne, like Hal Jordan. So his next step is, okay, well, I need Superman. I need the soups. But looking at the history, he discovers that that, that the, excuse me, that the rocket that brought Superman to Earth didn't land where it lands in his storyline. Instead, it actually lands in the city of Metropolis, destroying a fair majority of the city, including 35,000 people. And the government, a little bit scared about what that was, has actually taken Superman, the which they call Subject One, and put him in a protected facility. And this is where Barry and Bruce are kind of at the limit of what they do, so they need help, so they recruit Cyborg. Now, remember the last meeting that Batman and Cyborg had Batman was not interested whatsoever in helping Cyborg out. And at this point, because Cyborg was unable to get all of the heroes together, he has actually essentially been rejected and relieved of duty from the president of the United States, who we discover later on is his dad. So Cyborg is out of the picture. Batman finally comes back in and he's like, all right, I'm going to help. Of course, Cyborg is un He doesn't expect this, but he says, okay, I'll do what I can. And Batman says, to help, what we need to do is find this Subject 1 that crash-landed. Can you help us? Barry's like, okay, that's not really exactly what we're doing, but all right, we'll go with that. And they end up finding their way to New Metropolis. They find their way into where Superman is kept. They take down the guards. They open up the door. They blast through the shield doors. They find Superman, and this is not the Superman that we were expecting to see. This is some tall, pale lanky kid batman looks at him he says this is the most powerful being on the planet this 
Superman has never seen the sun. He does not have the abilities that he should have. And he is scared. So as Flash, Cyborg, and Batman are trying to take this kid out, they get attacked. They finally get outside. Superman sees the sun for the first time. Realizes he has powers for the first time. And is terrified. He leaves. He has no idea what he's what's going on. And he leaves Cyborg, Flash, and Batman literally at the mercy of these millions of guards. Not millions of guards, but it feels like millions of guards. A, a lot of guards who are about to try to take them down. And the guards do some pretty serious damage to Barry before they are rescued by Element Woman. Yay, Element Woman! Who comes in to help save the day, but after Barry was majorly injured... He is, again, slowly, slowly, actually more rapidly losing his memories of his home universe. And unless he, if he loses those completely, he's out of luck. So this new team Flash, I guess we want to say, find themselves at the homes of the Shazam kids. And Billy, who has the ability to hopefully help stop the degradation of Barry's memories, is able to stop it. And in Barry's memories, he sees that universe he sees the world that barry has his home universe and he says that is a universe with hope can we help save the day so they all come together and barry realizes that he's been trying so desperately to stop reverse flash and to correct this universe that he hasn't realized what's going on outside of him because things are getting worse by the minute over in the main war zone the Atlanteans have a massive weapon of mass destruction that they are planning on dropping on the Amazonians. And unless someone stops this battle that's going on, Armageddon is hours away. So on the news channel, right where they're all at in this room with the Shazam kids, they see Hal Jordan, Hal Highball Jordan is about to fly over with his fleet to stop the Amazonians But unfortunately, they were met by hundreds of the Amazonians' invisible jets, and they are destroyed. And this is the moment where Barry realizes that everything he was trying to do to correct the past will be worth nothing if he's responsible for the death of these billions of people. So he manages to get all of these heroes together. They travel over to the war zone with the end game being that they are going to stop Wonder Woman and Aquaman, that this cannot happen happen anymore they've got shazam on their team they have captain thunder excuse me one in the same they have enchantress we've got batman cyborg element woman they're all doing their best to help save the day they're very outnumbered but we finally see flash actually meet aquaman arthur the man who he says couldn't he can't believe could be turned into such a monster and While Shazam attempts to bring down Wonder Woman, Flash is attempting to talk down Arthur, and Enchantress goes rogue. She actually destroys, she shouts Shazam, breaking those kids apart, the Shazam kids apart. And when Wonder Woman realizes that these are just kids, she actually attacks and kills Billy, a kid, in a supreme act of violence that the flash cannot comprehend. And he is just astounded. He's falling to pieces. He can't believe that this is happening. And from right above him, he hears this deep, deep sound. He says, Oh, Barry, look what you did. And Barry looks up and it's reverse flash looking at him, but he's not gloating in what he did. He says, look at what you did. Barry becomes absolutely enraged, starts to take him down, says, this isn't me, this was all you, you were the one who did it. And Barry says, and in reverse flash says, oh no, I didn't do anything. Because as it turns out, you're the villain today. You are a more dangerous enemy to yourself than I could ever hope to be. But you forgot what you did, didn't you? And reverse flash actually helps Barry remember what happened. He says, I can reset your internal vibrations that will be extremely painful, (laughs) lucky me, and I will let you remember. Because don't you remember, Barry? One day you were at your mother's grave on her birthday, her first birthday since you learned that I was responsible for her murder. 
and a life of gnawing emptiness finally pushed you over the edge to a place you swore you'd never go, to the past, to the day your mother died. He says, you found me, and in that instant, you pulled the entire speed force into you to stop me, to stop me from killing your mother. You were like a bullet through a windshield. You shattered history. The lives of the people closest to you were put on a broken path. (laughs) He laughs and he says, Barry, you changed time like an amateur. This is your fault, Barry. This hell is your creation. You traded the life of your mother for the rest of the world. And Barry remembers. He remembers that this is what he did. He did all of this. He is directly responsible for this world that has been created by going back in time and saving his mother By pulling the speed force into him, by breaking the rules of time, he has shattered the very core essence of time himself. And Thomas Wayne comes up to him. He said, you did this? And Barry begrudgingly says, yes, I did. And Thomas Wayne says, says, then you can still fix this. We just need to get Thawne out of the equation because something else has happened with Thawne. When Barry went back in time to stop Thawne from killing his mom, Thawne was also in the speed force. So when this entire catastrophe happened, it actually pushed Eobard Thawne out of time. He said that he basically created a living paradox, freeing him from the shackles of history. In the past, Reverse Flash could never kill Barry because he needs Barry to learn how to become the Flash. But now that he has basically extrapolated himself from history, he could kill Barry. The world could be destroyed. He could never have even met Nora Allen. And no matter what happens, Reverse Flash will always exist. He says, I can hurt you, Barry, but you cannot hurt me. The legendary Flash cannot hurt Eobard Thawne. And he's standing there gloating. He is taking in this moment that he has that he could kill Barry the second that he even comes into existence. And it wouldn't matter because he always becomes reverse flash. And as he's standing there gloating, Batman, Thomas Wayne, comes up behind them, stabs him through the heart with a sword. In one of the most badass things that we have ever seen any Batman said, say he says doctor's advice. When you're in the middle of a war, don't stand still. Now, as all of this is happening, things are getting worse in this major battle. We've had other heroes show up. We've had villains show up who are trying to stop the Amazonians and the Atlanteans. But things are getting worse and worse. People are dying. Enchantress is going all over the place. She doesn't care whose side she's on. We have Grifter showing up. Grodd shows up. And then out of nowhere, Superman shows up. And he actually manages to start to take down Aquaman and Wonder Woman. But things are just getting worse because this major doomsday device that the Atlanteans have created is getting to the point where not only is it going to destroy New Thymusaria, but it's also going to essentially crack the core of the planet and destroy the world. So this battle, this World War III, has just become Armageddon. This doomsday device that the Atlanteans have created is going to destroy the Earth, and it is beginning. And Thomas Wayne looks at Barry, and he says, look, you you have to fix this before you fully forget your memories. You need to fix time. Thomas Wayne gives Barry a letter, and he says, you can save my son, but I'm sorry about your mother. And the world is falling apart around them. This doomsday device is going off things are falling apart. Barry says they're gone. And at this point, Thomas Wayne is so drastically injured from everything that's going on that he begins to die. And he passes away right in front of Barry's eyes. He says, they're gone. I have to run. I have to save the day. So Barry begins to bolt back in time and he's going back. He's going to stop himself. He's going to save the day. And he finds himself at his mom's doorstep. And his mom looks at him and she says, is, is, Is what's going on true? Is the world about to end? And Barry says, yes, it is. And he tells her everything. He tells her everything that's happened. And she looks at him and she says, how many people have died because of this? Because of what you did? How many, Barry? And Barry looks at her and he says, millions. 
He says, but I won't let you die. I won't let this life that we've be cr- that we've created be erased. And Nora Allen looks at him and she says, it won't be. It happened, Barry, one way or another. The life that we had together happened. And I couldn't have been prouder or happier to have a son like you. You have to let me go. And Barry says, I don't want to. Nora says, neither do I, but I'll be with your father. I'll be okay. And Barry knows what he has to do. He has to run back and stop himself from saving his mother. And he begins to run. And he finds himself running. And his, that, that self looks and he says, what the hell is going on? And our Barry says, I know what you're feeling. And I'm sorry. I am so sorry. And he pushes that Barry out of the st- time stream, fundamentally forcing him to not save his mom. So he has actually gone back in time and stopped himself from saving his mom. Now, as he does this, Barry sees three distinct timelines that have all been created. And this is where it gets a little bit ambiguous as far as Barry's storyline goes, because as you're reading the comic, you have no idea what's going on. We see this hooded character that says, because the history of heroes was shattered into three long ago, splintered to weaken your world for their impending arrival, you must all stand together. The timelines must become one again. You can help me fix that, Barry, but at a cost. And what we see is that Barry Allen merges three, these three timelines that he sees and actually creates the universe that we see and learn uh, that becomes the new 52. So Barry goes, stops himself from saving his mom, and creates the new 52. And then we get the kicker, the end of the book, the most astounding part, in my opinion, is when Barry Allen runs and he discovers he's fixed it. He's fixed most of the time and he goes to Wayne Manor. He finds Bruce, Bruce Wayne. Thomas Wayne has died and he finds Bruce. He tells him what's happened and that everything is is as back to normal as it's going to be. And Bruce hands Barry, excuse me, Barry hands Bruce a letter. It is a letter from his father, Thomas Wayne, written to Bruce Wayne, and Bruce takes it and he can't handle it. He falls apart. And it's it's one of the most beautiful panels in any book where Bruce Wayne removes his cowl and he's just crying. He says, Barry, you're one hell of a messenger. And Barry realizes that he has a gift that has been given to him as well because not only has he managed to fix time, but he also remembers the time that he had with his mom. And that's how the comic ends.